We're here in fabulous Las Vegas at the world's largest technology logistics conference called Manifest. Here at Manifest, we've got companies as big as DHL and companies as small as tiny little startups that are revolutionizing logistics. So welcome and join us and enjoy your time here. So as you can see, this space is absolutely gigantic. We've got DHL over here at this booth. It looks like they're working with Boston Dynamics, the crazy robotics company that builds those humanoid robots and those dog robots. It looks like they're doing some stuff with forklifts and with other types of intralogistics technology for the warehouse. And then when we come over here, we've got Pick and Place. This looks like a robotics company called Mujin. Really cool, we've got some robots over here on the floor. We've got a Pick and Place robot with the arm. And this is the future, this is what logistics now looks like. It's no longer people inside of a warehouse, but rather we have robots and software that are monitoring everything. And with QDC, what's really important is that we provide an optimization layer for companies like this, because combinatorial optimization is something that impacts all logistics in all facets because these are very computationally complex problems that we at QDC are aiming to solve. So a really cool company that's here at Manifest is this company called Cruise. So Cruise started off by developing these tools for making cars more autonomous. Originally they were retrofitting cars, placing an apparatus on the roof so that the car could have its own autonomy features. But now after they were acquired by GM in 2016, they've developed their own automobile. An automobile that doesn't have any drivers, it doesn't have a steering column, and all it is, is just two benches on the inside. Imagine being on the night out with your friends, getting a little drunk, and then hitting your app, and then your cruise car comes over and picks you up and you get home safely. This is the future, and Cruise is building the future. I'm a real sucker for free food, so if you have cookies and free food at your booth, I'm coming over there. And if you also have coffee, then for sure it's a lock. Look at the size of this thing. We don't have things this big in Europe. And I mean, look at the color. This thing is just gigantic. And it has an autonomy system here built in. So it looks like this is an autonomous truck. And I mean, this thing just goes all the way back. Super cozy, little cabin on the inside. I don't even think you need a driver for one of these things. Or if there is a driver, it's just there to make sure that nothing hits the fan as you're on the road. Pretty impressive. God, I wonder how they even got these trucks in here. I mean, this is insane. It wouldn't even fit through any of that. It's insane. Also, look at the low rider on this thing. You definitely can't hit a speed bump on one of these guys. Something that's really important with what we're doing at QDC is we're making the world a lot more efficient. And logistics is one of the oldest industries in the world. For many, many years, logistics has been, for the most part, relatively inefficient. And that's because you've got humans behind a computer screen manually inputting and outputting data points and planning routes and doing all sorts of scheduling and planning. And if we can allow that to be done by computers, especially scientific computing, and use the latest of state-of-the-art research to make things more efficient, then not only are we making things better, faster, and cheaper, but we're also lowering a carbon footprint and ultimately helping provide a positive impact on the world. Why don't we go grab some coffee? This will be probably like my 11th coffee today, but there's no such thing as too much coffee, right? What time is it? It's only 3 p.m., so let's go. Oh, wow, do we have iced coffee here? So I got a, a ginger beer mocktail from Y Systems over here. So Y Systems does some really interesting stuff, and they can actually even be, for us, a potential customer because they deal with optimization and route planning and scheduling. And so a company like this is a perfect example of a customer that QDC can work with because A, they're a highly advanced data science company, and B, they need to use tools like we have from scientific computing and quantum computing. And so I had a great chat with one of the product managers, and so hopefully something will come from that. Cheers. That's yeah, cool. that's a brilliant idea, by the way, doing headshots at a conference. And you guys do some like data science. So you're like, you do consulting for logistics companies? Yes. Interesting. We have a product for data science teams to take advantage of HPC, scientific computing, quantum computing, to make easier, more accessible, create mathematical models without actually having a physics or math PhD. And then we deploy optimization algorithms on HPC. You know, so the biggest issue with ML teams taking advantage of these tools is the fact that you have to develop the underlying mathematical models for the optimization algorithm. And most ML engineers don't have physics PhDs or math PhDs, so that already there is like a blocker. Oh, look at this. Beans.ai. 
jelly beans. I have no idea what they do. Actually, I do. They optimize and plan your daily routes, but I also love jelly beans so much. And they're Jelly Belly jelly beans. These are my absolute favorite. They remind me of my childhood. So there's like a million different flavors of Jelly Belly jelly beans. Mm. Okay, that one's red apple. This can just be the whole video. Me going through all the jelly beans, I'm guessing which flavor they are. That one was watermelon. You can tell it's watermelon because it's red and green. Mmm, fantastic. Oh look, they got a video game. So forklifts not actually operated by humans. Also, that looks like the most boring video game in the world. This dude is driving a forklift using like a gaming steering column. And I wonder if it's actually real. It looks like it's real. I wonder where the warehouse is. Yeah, so, so far, we've had a great conference. We've had a chance to meet with a lot of potential customers. I met with a lot of investors. The beautiful thing is, is a lot of what we are pitching is landing both with customers and also landing with investors, which is really important because that demonstrates that from a product market fit angle, we're on the right track. And it's really exciting because you need to be able to create your product by talking to as many customers as humanly possible. Because it doesn't make any sense to innovate in a vacuum. You don't want to innovate in a vacuum because then you're going to build something and nobody's going to want to use it. So that's why it's really important to come to things like this, talk to the developers, talk to the customers, talk to the investors to ensure that you have a bit of a sanity check so that whatever you're pitching actually makes sense and has received well by that audience. So one of the things that's really interesting about the Manifest Conference is that it brings together the old world of logistics, so your standard mom and pop, brick and mortar trucks with new world Silicon Valley. So you've got guys running around with their Patagonia vests, investors, startup guys with the white t-shirts and the sneakers, and then you've got the old school logistics guys with the suits and the ties and the really nice shoes coming in from Chicago and from New York. So it's really wonderful to see these two diametrically opposed industries coming together and joining us in this conference and really trying to change the world, make the world a lot more efficient and really revolutionizing the way logistics is done. That's it for Manifest 2023. We've had a fantastic time. We've met a lot of people, a lot of interesting people in technology and plain logistics. Like I mentioned before, this contrast between old world logistics and new world technology and that blend, seeing people coming up with new solutions, using technology to solve problems, as opposed to people solving problems. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, machines are way better at solving certain problems than people. Of course, people are good at solving other types of problems, like more creative problems, but when it comes to things that can be automated, technology is the way to go. And using the newest and latest in machine learning and scientific computing is really the only way to go if we want to continue to build a much more efficient world. What does a much more efficient world mean? Lower carbon footprint, faster times, better visibility in all of your products, and ultimately, a much better scheduling and deployment process for all of your infrastructure. So remember, at QDC, we're making all of that possible. We're making scientific computing and combinatorial optimization more accessible to smaller data science teams. Because ultimately, we believe that large companies are not the only ones that have access to scientific computing, which needs lots of consultants and PhDs to work on these optimization problems. But we believe that us, QDC, will provide you, the developer, with the tools necessary to create the underlying mathematical models to solve your optimization problems auto-magically. We're gonna build you a product that you will never want to give away. It'll solve the largest problems that you ever experienced in your life. Combinatorial optimization is everywhere. And we're starting with logistics because we believe that we will revolutionize optimization in logistics. So join us here in Las Vegas and come, let's optimize the world.